I found a deal on Amazon for these rescue Japanese and Oriental beetle traps. And if you live in the state of Kentucky and Ohio and you have fruit trees, this is something you are going to uh, want to set up and uh, pretty easy to assemble. Um, if you buy them in bulk packs, they are cheaper per unit cost. And because the attractant is sealed, if you don't need all the bags that are in the bulk pack, you've got some for next year also. They're also reusable, so you can buy just the attractant by itself. Um, I got these a pack of six. I don't remember what the exact cost was. I'll look it up when I edit this video and add it to the video. But um, it says that three bags will do approximately a one acre um, area. And you basically assemble the bag, put the attractant on, and uh, hang it about 30 foot from where uh, you want it to protect your plants at a height of about four feet off the ground. So on a fence post or a fence or a tree limb or something like that should work great. Pretty easy to set up. Basically you take and fold it out like this. So it comes flat, fold it out like this. Dump the attractant bag and string out. I don't actually see the string in this one which isn't a huge deal. Yeah, so this one don't have the string, but it's not a big deal. Basically it has a hole. So once you do that, you take these sides here, right here, and you fold them inward so that they attach to the little pins at the bottom of this cross piece. It'll make sense once you see or once I get it put together. It's pretty easy to assemble of course on video it's probably going to take forever because that's the way things always seem to go. chickens are out there being chickens. I hear the rooster this morning. I've already put a couple of these together and it doesn't even take like two minutes normally. Okay so once you have that part done see how it kind of like forms this cross shape bag Next, you take the attractant out of the bag. It has slots cut in it, so it only goes one way. That fits here. And you basically wiggle it around till you get everything lined up, push it on there. Next, you'll take a it's actually a wire tie, a metal wire tie. You'll put it through that hole there to hang it up. Um, since this one didn't have one, this is actually the first one. I've already installed two or three of these, but this is actually the first one that doesn't have one. So let me shut the camera off. I'll go grab one. And okay, this is what the wire it. tie looks like. I did check the other bags. The one that I was doing the video on is the only one that didn't have a hanger. So that's the way things go. Basically, you just unwrap it. I've got a wire tie or something. Ha! Huh. I want you to look at this. While I'm recording, look what flew onto the bag. So the attractant definitely seems to work. We're going to let him live for just a second because we still have to we still have to go hang this. So basically the wire tie goes through the hole in the top. It also helps hold the attractant on. Just give it a few wraps. 
All right, now we are going to go over here. I'll kind of show you where we're going to hang this. This is my existing orchard. I'm actually expanding it by 17 foot. You can actually see um, down there. See, I'm gonna try to zoom this in, I don't know. Yeah, you can see a bag hanging there on that pole, kind of center of the screen now. There's a white bag down there. It's actually on a temporary T-post I have set in the ground. I'm laying out where my uh, blackberry plants are going to go. Getting the holes drilled for those. And then right here, I have another T post that's just temporarily barely setting the ground at all. But it's in there enough to hold this up. So let me reposition this camera and we'll try to uh, hang this up. So here we have the T post. And I'm just going to take at about four foot height and secure this on here using the tie that's here. And there we go. I want you guys to see this because I literally just hung these up 10 minutes ago. I hung up one, two, three, four, four of them. So I already had uh, two done when I first videoed the previous segments of this video. And then we hung up one, so that was the third one, and then I just hung a fourth one. When I hung the fourth one, this whole entire time, these have been out, like the longest one's been out about 20 minutes. So let's look at this already. I see at least one Asian beetle down here in the bottom. But that's not the one I really wanted to show you. The very first one that I hung out is the one I really want to show you. And we're going to walk over and look at it. It's actually the one. It is actually the one that I pointed to in the camera with the camera and said, you can see it down there on the post. So we're going to walk up here. Whoops. Because this is pretty crazy. Um, Of course, now I have to figure out how to get it so that you can see down in there. See him? I don't know how many's in there. Might be 20 or so. I'm going to shut, well, I need to get this camera to focus. There we go. And literally, they have not been, this has been out 20 minutes. So if you want to know if this works, absolutely it does. Let's walk up here and check the one that I actually hung with you guys. See how many is in it because I can look at the timestamp of the film or of the video file I see one already let's look see one down there that's been less than five minutes
less than five minutes already got one in it so uh there we go they definitely work and they're not very expensive either